bump, 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 bump. All right, so here's the story. I'll try to one take Drake this. Raw and honest, juice cleanse. Here we go, I'm doing it so. Long story short, uh, a friend of the owner of this company saw my Snapchats a couple months ago of me drinking green juice in Bangkok. So he hit me up and he said, yo, my friend owns this green juice company, bar or whatever in Bangkok and he'll give you a free four day juice cleanse if you do like a YouTube video about it or uh, yeah, do a blog about it, video review, whatever. About the company, I guess this is it. I'll just show you the brochure, why not? Raw and honest. Of course, there's probably juice companies like this in every city. If you are in Bangkok, this is the one that I'm getting it from. It looks kind of cool. Um, I think that might be the owner right there. Blah, blah, blah. And you know, you can look into the potential benefits or not. Some people are fans of it, some people are not. Cool. This is really good. Whoa! Woo! How about that? A little bit about my background. Um, I've always been into green juice. I actually did a similar juice cleanse three years ago when I was first uh, prepping to come to Thailand in 2013 for our two week trip, which ended up changing our lives. And that's why we're here now. So funny story, I did this three years ago before I was going to Thailand because I wanted to get like, I wanted to get beach fit or whatnot. Um, and I'm also, a uh, kind of a science nerd. I was a uh, genetics and cellular biology major in college. Yes, I have a degree from the School of Molecular Biosciences from Washington State University. Go Cougs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, I get it. I get it's good for you. And uh, I always try to eat vegetables. You know, I watch a lot of YouTube. As you guys know, YouTube changed my life when I turned off the TV. Um, started watching YouTube, found out about the digital nomad thing, and basically that's why I'm here, because of YouTube. At the same time, after university, I started getting red-pilled about natural health, and red-pilled about the pharmaceutical industry, um, and all that stuff, so I had my natural health awakening, and you know, obviously found the documentary, like Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead, the really popular one, where the guy does like super long juice cleanse, like 30 days or longer, and he was fat, and had like psoriasis and all these autoimmune diseases and he did the juice cleanse and basically uh, got skinny and the skin disease went away and got back to health. So I've always been interested in doing the juice cleanses. Actually recently I've become more interested in doing just a water fast and um, so I'll give my perception on the differences between both. Some people are a fan of water fast, drinking just water is better um, for like four plus days. Some people say juice is better. They, they, some, like the juice cleanse does some things that the water cleanse or water fast doesn't do and vice versa. It's kind of like a Venn diagram, uh, but they both have similar benefits and different benefits. So some people say juice cleanses, they make you fat. They're, they're not good, they're just BS. And that is kind of understandable if people think that because with the juice cleanse, there's a product you need to buy every day. You know, companies can make money promoting the juice cleanse because you got to buy the juice every day. This four day juice cleanse is like 4,000 something baht, so around like 130 bucks or something like that. And um, <clears throat> so, yeah, I, I get it if people call out juice cleanses as BS, but for what it's worth, it, it can't hurt definitely is uh, good for you. Juice cleanses are more about um, like energizing your body and uh, replenishing any uh, deficiencies uh, as far as like micronutrients and stuff like that. Whereas a water fast is more about uh, regenerating, regenerating new cells and stuff like that. Um, so they're a little bit different. I actually became more interested in doing the water fast after the digital nomad guy, YouTuber, Minimal Pro, Sean Lee, who actually spoke at the Nomad Summit, I think two years before I did. He did a video review of his like 20 day water fast, 20 days just water. It was like a supervised thing, like in a facility. Um, but yeah, basically after he had rave reviews about it. Um, and 
And one of the things that stuck with me is that he said his taste buds were completely reset. He had no cravings for junk food anymore. He craved like real whole foods and stuff. So that was the thing I was like, I'm really interested in that. Because like many people, I'm openly addicted to sugar. You know, every night I'm like craving some ice cream or some chocolate. And I, I, I make fun of myself, I'm like I'm so addicted to sugar. Like this craving is ridiculous. How about I want some sugar right now? So uh, I'm interested in seeing if my taste buds get reset after this juice cleanse. That's what a lot of people uh, on YouTube have, have said is one of the best things is resetting your cravings, resetting your taste buds. So, and obviously I could go into the, the cellular science, you know, I studied cells, cellular biochemistry for four years. I could go into that, but let's keep it short. That was a good five minute rant. So here is what it looks like, guys. We guys, did you, we have like some bonus, like elixirs, things. Yeah, and like this bonus, I don't know what that is, like protein shake or something. But yeah, here's what you get. I chose the hard cleanse. So you can do uh, sport, heal, half flush, beauty, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's a business, it's marketing, I get it. Um, and so one, two, three, four, five, six juice of the day, day one, two, three, four. Um, so yeah, they give you, you know, information, da, 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 elixirs, that's these things. So. Go ahead and uh, open this first one. Shake it up. And I know it's gonna be very hard. It's gonna be very challenging. Um, drinking nothing but juice. Obviously I'm gonna be very hungry. Um, and some people say that juice fasting actually makes you more fat. Like I watched a couple YouTube videos last night and some guys say juice fasting makes you more fat because it's like, uh, it's calorie, um, calorie restricting and a lot of people say eating zero calories like a water fast is way better than eating low calories because this gives you a low just a little amount of calories anyways whether you're a fan of this or not I'll try it so you don't have to how about that and uh, oh, it's delicious there's uh, like one fruit in these and then so this one is uh, go to Kota apple, pineapple, lemon, parsley. I already had uh, a coffee today. I haven't eaten today. It's Saturday afternoon and I haven't eaten today already. So I guess this is middle of day one. But take it up. Wish me luck. Bye. All right, it's night of day one. Hungry, but not as hungry as I thought. I'm gonna do a live first taste of one of their juice pluses. It's kind of a more creamy thing. You can look up what's in it, but I wanted to do a live taste test since uh, he said they were uh, tasty and sweet. Oh, wholesome and delicious. Not too sweet. It's not very sweet, like a, a milkshake or anything. Delicious. So I, have, I haven't eaten for approaching 24 hours. See you guys tomorrow. Quick fun fact. Uh, one of the main benefits of not eating for like a few days is actually just giving your digestive system a break where there's just drinking juice or water. Because apparently like 65% of your energy or some major chunk of your energy goes down to actually breaking the food down that you eat. So that's one of the main benefits is all that extra energy goes into healing your body and doing different stuff. So giving your digestive system a break and allowing it to kind of repair some stuff that needs to be done. All right, day two tomorrow. Day two. We're trying the special elixir drinks for sip today. First sip, day two. 
Oh, oh, that's so good. I love the ones with ginger, cinnamon, celery, apple, carrot, ginger, turmeric, pineapple. That'll get you started. So a day two update. Um, surprisingly, I'm not starving. Last night, surprisingly, my stomach was not grumbling, maybe a little bit. I got to bed okay. And today, my stomach is not grumbling, not hungry like I thought it would be. Most people usually say day one through three, you're like super hungry. Um, I've been up already for about an hour up top doing like yoga and the sun and stuff without eating anything, without drinking anything um, other than the little elixir thing, small little like shot type thing. And I'm not really hungry, I'm chilling. Um, you know, but one of the best parts about doing something like this is just appreciating food in general. You know, like I'm a food blogger. We eat all this delicious food in this day and age. It's such a privilege that we forget about and I forget about. You gotta remind yourself, like in just a few generations ago, the average man ate basic food, like in the 1800s and stuff. People, families ate basic meals. They didn't have access to all of this, de all these delicious flavors within 30 minutes delivery at any point in time, any type of food. So just appreciating food and not eating it for a couple of days is uh, I think probably one of the biggest things I'll get out of this. Be able to appreciate all the food porn that we are blessed to try. Of course, we're blessed to travel the world in this day and age. We have flying buses, flying cars. So, um, yeah, I think that's one of the, the best things. Super, super blessed, you know? We don't have, you know, back in the day, they didn't have access to all these, like we were just in Japan eating Kobe beef. Like, humans these days, we have nothing else to do other than make food taste the best it can possibly taste, and massaging the cows and stuff, and you're basically just for fun, you know, just to increase pleasure, no other reason. Obviously, it's, it's a business thing, too, to make food taste the best possible, you know? All these Thai flavors, these coconut curry, spicy cow soy, like, so delicious food we have nowadays. And just gotta remind ourselves, we are so lucky to have access to delicious food. And some people around the world don't even have access to all this delicious food that we have in modern times, modern society. So, love you. Peace. It is day cuatro, buenas dias. It's Tuesday, which means day four of no food. And last two days have been easier than I thought. No stomach pangs, hunger pangs, or anything like that. Um, Sunday night, I had a call with my Amazon Mastermind group. Yesterday, went to a cafe, had coffee, and was productive, normal day. And then I just kind of chilled out the rest of the day. I actually went to the gym and just did some uh, foam rolling, some light rolling out, uh, which was really good. And today, I feel great. Like, I was literally jumping around this morning, like, dancing to music, which was crazy. So, feeling great, three days of just juice. And um, I've also been watching a lot of YouTube videos. You know, the, the whole experience with fasting is um, kind of a whole uh, holistic journey of personal growth and stuff like that. So I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos. And like I said before, I had been interested in trying a water fast, a plain fast even before the this juice fast came thing the, ju the juice fast was just an excuse to to get into it because they offered it for free um but i'm feeling really good after day three and i've only gone through about half of the um four days of juice because i've only been drinking really five out of the six juices that they give you per day um but i think i want to 
roll straight into a water fast starting today, which is day four. Um, like I said, I was interested in water fasting even more than juice fasting before this. And I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos on, on both. And I want to try the water fast. I got to try, try it. Um, when people ask why, why are you doing it? Really the big picture is it's bigger than me. Um, from the videos that I've watched and the research I've done, it's pretty much one of the best things you can do for your health and longevity, period. I think everyone that's into natural health agrees on that with the water fasting thing. Um, I could go on and on about how in ancient times water fasting or, or fasting with no food is, was just a regular thing. Every animal goes from feast to famine. It's something that our bodies are naturally supposed to go through, but we never go through these these uh, food, no food periods. And so you can you can just search it in YouTube. Just type in water fast, and there's millions of uh, stories about how diseases have been cured from cancer, um, cardiovascular disease, number one killer in the world in America and in the world of heart disease. It can cleanse your shit out. Um, it, it's basically your body regenerating, recycling every cell that's not perfect. All the old cells, all the damaged and floppy cells. Your body is recycling all those, going into the actual healing process if you just get out of the way. So I think it's a really good thing for longevity. I want to live as long as possible. But really, I want to be able to recommend this to other people that actually maybe aren't the healthiest. You know, I'm, I'm an average healthy person, but I wanna be able to recommend this to other people, so I have to actually try it myself so I can say, I did it myself. It's not that scary, you can do it. So it's really about other people, but as far as doing it for a relatively healthy person like me, why would I do this? And Sean Lee, another, YouTuber, digital nomad guy, put it very well in his video um, as far as why, what the benefits would be for a relatively healthy young person with no chronic diseases to do a water fast. And he put it better than I could ever put it. So I'll play what he had to say. Because yesterday I wanted to work out. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do box hit. And I started doing a little bit more research and really should just chill out and let your body rather than muscle repair if you do a strenuous exercise. So it's all similar to the um, the no talking meditation retreats that people do like out in Thailand. It, it, it's similar to that. No food, no talking. It's just like going inside um, and just being more aware, you know? So my favorite thing that I'm going to get out of all this is changing my relationship to food, hopefully forever. Have fun. Feeling good. So here's what Sean had to say. This is, he said it better than I did, so. Hey everyone, Sean Lee, One Minute a Day. I thought I would take a quick moment to answer your most common question that I've gotten so far. It's now the end of day four of my water only fast. It's been four days since I had my last meal. And the most common question so far has been, why are you fasting? That is a very legitimate question, and I don't think I've really answered it yet in a video. The main reason is for healing. That's the bottom line, healing. And it takes a certain kind of person to believe that water fasting has any healing benefit to it. I mean, uh, if you read the Bible, you know that Moses, David, Elijah, and Jesus all fasted for 40 days. Actually, I think Moses fasted for 40 days three different times. I guess that was mainly for spiritual reasons, but uh, they did it nonetheless. So it has a long history of healing from the days of Hippocrates and uh, also in the biblical times. My healing is nothing serious though. There are people here who are healing heart disease, diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, some serious conditions, seriously high blood pressure. I don't have any of that. I got my blood work back, my blood work is great. I am 
very blessed that I can be here primarily as a preventative measure. I'm here before I'm in those conditions. And Dr. Goldhammer said, you know, I asked him today, he gave a talk today, I said, you know, what about people like me who don't have any chronic conditions? Um, what do you tell them about doing long fasts and do you believe there's any benefit? And he said the people without those conditions stand to benefit the most, actually, uh, because of all the repair and restoration that's going on uh, above and beyond what other people can experience because they're preoccupied with true healing. So that's why I'm here. Specifically, um, I'd like to see a lot of healing happen in my liver. Now, I don't have any symptoms of having a weak or damaged or fatty liver or anything like that. But from the ages of about 18 to 26, I drank alcohol very heavily, aggressively. Uh, I would often get blackout drunk, uh, which is just so, so terrible for many reasons. And I can't imagine there weren't negative side effects of that. But what I believe, I'm one of the people who believes that water fasting accelerates healing. And that's one of the things I'd like to achieve here is really clean out my liver and allow it to really rest and focus on detox, repair, rejuvenation. Okay, it is Wednesday, about 11.40 a.m. It's day two of zero calories and day five of no food. And uh, I'm feeling really proud because it's the first 24 hours plus in my entire life, in my entire 28 years and two plus months of my life that I've gone 24 hours with no calories, with 24 hours really fasting. So I'm feeling proud about that. Last night, was a little hungry, not like painfully, but uh, falling asleep. Was uh, got a little bit hungry there, of course. Um, and this morning I was not hungry until I sat down at this cafe, and there's like a restaurant over there. This is the Tom Toms that we work at. It's our apartment here. Anyways. Until that restaurant started cooking food and like some garlic smell just came out oh, and I just got really hungry right now. So I gotta get out of here. Stomach is grumbling a bit. Uh, obviously, they say the first one to three days is uh, the hardest when you're going pure fast. Pure fast, just nothing, just water. But uh, other than that, chilling, it's not like, I'm not being tortured right now. Um, but a thing I'm excited about is uh, getting over the fear or the feeling, the bad feeling of going to bed hungry. Uh, like I have this perception or this fear or this feeling that uh, uh, I'm afraid to go, a bit, go to bed hungry. So I'm always like, I'm usually a night owl so I'm always typically eating like pretty soon before bed. Because uh, I get hungry. Like even if I'm a little bit hungry, I want to eat before bed. So I'm excited about potentially getting rid of that perception. But yeah, just, as far as working, I'm about, I just worked here for like an hour. Productive, pretty sharp. Uh, so feeling good. I'm gonna go up to the pool up there, and there's a pool over there up here. That's where I did the other video get some sun, chill out, do some yoga. All right, that's three minute update for Wednesday. It's quiet, no one up here by the pool. Just did some hanging yoga stuff and got some vitamin D. And the actual food that I was daydreaming about some sweet Thai curry. Someone just started cooking some green curry around here and day two hunger wave coming in. Wish me luck.
Yes, sir. Good afternoon. Good morning, good evening. It's day six. And the fast is over. I broke the fast after 48 hours of water fasting. Only water, no food, no nothing. And uh, I just couldn't get through the second night. I just got so hungry and my brain was getting into like hunt for food mode. Like my heart rate was elevated. I had like, you know, the uh, adrenaline was spiked and I had taken a nap taking a nap earlier in the day so it was just really hard to sleep and after I started to think about the idea oh maybe I should just break the fast after midnight after it hits 48 hours that idea just went straight through my body and just gave me more adrenaline I was like okay I can't sleep and so I broke it with some soup and some fruit okay it's just after midnight after day five it's been 48 hours with no calories just water and five days without a meal and I was trying to make it to the morning, but it's just too hard to sleep. And after I started thinking about breaking the fast, then my heart rate kept raising and getting excited about food, and I just couldn't get it out of my head. Anyways, 48 hour fast, I'm really proud of myself just to get that far. Um, but it was tough. Next time, maybe I can make it 72 hours. Um, do I look pretty? I'm gonna break it down with some green juice. Oh my gosh. Oh, it really does smell sweet. Here I am. After midnight, day five, first bite of food. In five days, I got some cantaloupe for less than a dollar a bag of it. That's kind of a Overall, good experience. Maybe next time I will break through to the other side, as they say. Uh, where supposedly on day three, four, the hunger goes away, most people say, and you really kick into to keto genesis mode. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll give it a try, but I still I feel really good, really proud getting 48 hours of water fasting. Basically, you know, everyone's journey is different, but I had gone down the YouTube wormhole so deep in the water fasting topic that it got to the point where I just had to try it or I would just feel stupid not trying it. So it's just a matter, I, I think everyone should do it at some point in your in your life, you know, what people say is it's good to do once a year or whatever for for longevity and overall health. Um, definitely, I'll do it again and try to go longer. Um, everyone's journey is different. It just you just got to find the excuse of when you want to do it. Um, obviously, look into it your, yourself. If, but if you're watching this, you're probably already looking into it. So if this video can be your kick in the butt to go for it towards what you want, if this can be your final last excuse to, to go for it, then sweet, cool. Um, but so my excuse was kicked off by someone offering me a free juice cleanse, which was great. Um, if you're in Bangkok, I recommend the Ron Honest, Honest Company. Super great juices. It's a great excuse to kick off healthy eating habits. Um, that's half of the benefit through going through this fasting thing, no food, because it can affect your relationship with food, the way you think about food, it can reset your taste buds a little bit, so obviously it's not the end all be all, some, some sort of juice, all liquid diet, it's not the end all be all, but it can be a kickstart towards healthier overall habits, eating real foods, that's basically what it comes down to, eating real foods, but it, fasting, Juice cleansing, water cleansing, some type of fasting can be just a tool in the arsenal towards overall health. So good experience. It's like kind of a spiritual experience too. You know, being in Thailand, like I was feeling like a monk. I was feeling real, real good, real proud about myself. You know, this is the first time in my whole life I've gone 24 hours plus without any food, without any calories. So I feel like I'm back to a real human being state. You know, it's, it's the natural state to go from feast to famine. So it's just interesting and you, you do a lot of, watch a lot of YouTube videos when you're doing it. It's kind of a whole educational, spiritual experience. It's not like I'm taking shrooms level or anything like that, but it's in the same genus. It's in the same family of doing some psychedelic drugs or something or, or even just meditating. It's very meditateful. Like I tried to fall asleep last night and push through the hunger. I tried to meditate myself to sleep. 
and that was it was pretty intense trying to get through that like intense uh, hunger next time I would try to look into if people utilize any sleeping aids to get yourself through that second night probably the toughest night anyways here I am in Bangkok, battery's about to die. I just thought I'd get up here to show you this nice view of these temples as sunset is coming down here. The workout is starting here. I'll take you down to, this is the Muay Thai gym that I come to, I try to come to now and then. Here. Box passionately. And then there's a, uh, uh, not CrossFit, but uh, uh, cross training. Interval training jam down here. I'll show you guys. I'll we'll just keep going. To it. Yep. Box hit. That's it. Go on here. While I'm ranting, might as well promote this place. Box hit. Oh, yep. Oh. What's up, man? Remember me? <laughs> you are Riley. Really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm oh, back. You, you said that you have a kind of a lower back pain. Yeah, yeah, I had lower back pain. And that's the other reason that mm -hmm. they kicked me into to doing that. It was my lower back pain that I fucked something up in my back. But anyways, I'm showing you guys this. Thank you. Anyways, I'm feeling better. Um, that's a wrap. That's that's where we're working out today. All right, Nick up. See you guys. And Bangkok. Link in description for, for the full wrap up for more details. Peace. Just got a fresh cut here in Bangkok. I'll recommend this place. It's called Craftsman. It's right next to the W Market, which I'll walk to right now. But I was getting a haircut and I thought of some other very beneficial things that I hadn't mentioned before, so I will say that. Now, when you're going through your fasting thing, one of the biggest benefits is learning to, when you're dealing with your hunger, learning to let it not control your emotions. Learning to make it not get you hangry. You know, as you're as you're dealing with your extended fast. So, let's say if your 24 hour plus extended fast journey, if all that did is help you not be as hangry for the rest of the year, let's say you do a 24 hour plus extended fast once a year, if all that did was make you less hangry, would that be worth it? I think so. So as you're going through the struggling with hunger, you're coming to grips with it, learning to realize that hunger shouldn't control your emotions. So no one likes someone that's hangry all the time. And we are not as productive ourselves when we're hungry and we let that control our emotions. So that's a huge benefit, just to be able to deal with hunger and be, be okay with it, realize that it's okay. Your body is healing when you're hungry. Like it's okay. It's natural to be hungry. To be hungry. And this whole thing, I know some people think it's crazy, and it is. In the mainstream, it's crazy to do fasting as therapy. But there's no money in, in water fasting because there's nothing to take. So that's why it's not mainstream. Like some people say, oh, consult with your doctor. Blah blah blah. They're, your doctor is probably not going to recommend a fasting cleanse because there's. Your, your doctor is going to want to give you some medications. There's, there's no money in water fasting. So before you freak out in the comments, do your own research. Uh, look into it. But uh, yeah, one of, the, one of the main benefits is just changing your relationship with hunger and helping you not be hangry, helping, it, helping, you, not get, helping you not freak out when you're hungry. You know, during the week sometimes, we miss meals because we're busy or whatever and we get hungry. So if that's all that it did is change your attitude towards hunger and just learn to accept it, like it's okay. If, all, if that's all that it did once a year, I think it's definitely worth giving it a try. So yeah, that's it. This is the W Market. It's a popular food truck 
and beer drinking place for expats and travelers and locals alike. So if you're in Bangkok, check out my Bangkok travel guide. Look out for that in the description. If you watched all the way to the end, you can see the statistics and 90% of people that watch these videos on YouTube are not subscribed. So in order to increase subscriber conversion rate, I'm experimenting with some giveaways. So the first 50 people to comment leave their comment below with the hashtag live in that life they will be entered to win a 50 US dollar visa electronic gift card that you can use to shop online so you have to also leave a like thumbs up on the video and be subscribed to the channel there's a tool where you can see so boom Hashtag living that life in the comments, subscribe and like. That means you watched all the way to the end. This is just a compilation of a bunch of rants during my journey, but there's also tons of YouTube videos of meditation techniques that you can use to, to uh, get through hunger. So yeah, it's like, it's like a hunger retreat. It was a very, very good experience. Um, can recommend it if you're in Bangkok I have tons of Bangkok videos so check out my Bangkok travel playlist Chiang Mai travel playlist also we've been around Southeast Asia like Malaysia Singapore Vietnam Philippines also we've done trips to Africa South America and Europe so tons tons more if you're just stumbling on this channel which you probably are so check all the links below in the description peace love you and they're cooking some grilled cheese here I've tried this before, I'm not gonna go for it because the other main benefit that people do with the, the people get from the fasting thing is kicking off healthy eating. It can be a kickoff towards more healthy eating habits. So that's one of the other top things. All right, I've ranted too long. Catch me in Thailand, boy. Peace. Mwah.